Hey, it's Ocean, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the Sims 4 overrides that I'm currently using in my game. So keep watching and stay tuned. Before we jump into the video, I definitely think it's worth mentioning that the mods that I'm showing you today are going to override the pre-existing conditions that The Sims 4 has given us. So I wanna jump right into the first thing and that is these fan art maps. My world here for of Sulani, for example, looks completely different than the original game. Willow Creek looks completely completely different. It looks more detailed. The way that things are placed on the map gives you a better idea on how to place these lots. The last world to get a fan art map was Mount Kamarepi. So all of these worlds have custom maps and Mount Kamarepi, uh, this map has just been released not too long ago. And I was so excited about that because I've been waiting for this one so long. I live by these fan art maps. I always like put them in game and then I'll take them out like after an update and then forget to put them back in. But I live by them. I definitely love the way that it makes me feel when I'm playing the game it makes me feel like I'm in this alternate universe of a game huge shout out to Strangerville as well I feel like Strangerville looks absolutely gorgeous with this fan art map I feel like it brings it alive the next thing I want to show you is a font replacement a lot of you have asked me this and I was like you know what I'll just put it in the video um the sims 2 font I am using the sims 2 font in my sims 4 game and I absolutely love it I saw Nicole and uh Jordy, who's like my my best my bestie in the Sims community, they were using the Sims 2 font, and I'm like, oh, I gotta have that in my game. So it will replace all of your original font, and you will then have the Sims 2 font. And if you're familiar with the Sims 2 font, then you already know, like, this is, I love it. Like, I really love the way it looks. It makes my game feel even more personalized. It looks really seamless, and it looks like it's a part of the game, and it also provides me that, like, little bit of nostalgia that I need. <laughs> in my game so definitely get that if you like the way that it looks now that the sun is going down i can finally show you the effects of my lighting mod my main lighting mod that i've been using so a lot of you ask me uh, what my reshade is and all that stuff that's a whole another video but i do have a lighting mod that literally overrides all of the lighting in every single world. That is the Sun Blind Lighting by Softer Haze. I'm telling you when this came out, everyone on Tumblr like froze in existence and everyone's screenshots just started looking super different. That is why a lot of my screenshots I'll take during like the sunrise and, and sunset. Here is the game with my shader on and then here I'm turning it off. So that red hint and hues and the lighting, the the original lighting for the game does not do this. It just doesn't. I've used other lighting mods by Softer Haze like Twinkle Toes, which I really like too, but this one actually purposely capitalizes on the natural lighting of the game. It just makes it better. So as you can see here, like just watch this time lapse. Like, wow, it completely overrides the original lighting in the game and you do not need a shader on. See, this is what it looks like with no shade still looks amazing here i am turning my shader on back again but yeah you really don't need any reshade or anything if you just wanted to play with this lighting mod and that's what i love about it next thing i want to do is show you all um an override that i think will be really helpful for your photos so i have paired selfie overrides and also just regular selfie overrides where if i take a selfie or a picture with another sim or myself we have new poses. So I have poses for them. It will replace the original pose. So I have one for the, where is it, relaxed state. So if I pose them, hold on, you'll see it come up just a second. You see, I have an additional pose. So this pose is definitely not a part of the game. I have poses that replace the relaxed state. Let me try and get this, there we go. See, this is not a Sims 4 pose. This is actually a pose replacement. I also have it for the, I think I have Romantic, I believe too as well. Yes, I do. So this is where Barbie and Kenneth from are growing together, LP. This is how they got their picture like that. And then here's another pose. So different poses, right now it's on random, but the poses will show up as they cycle through because I replaced it with other poses. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it replaces some of the poses depending on which one you download. That was the paired selfie. I also have one for selfies where they're, just by themselves and I think I have that replacing the relaxed state yes I do he is so handsome I just made this him the other night by the way like humble brag he's like one of the cutest sims I've ever made and then here's another pose as well so you kind of have to cycle through until you get to those custom poses I almost forgot until I looked up at the sky but I also have an override for the clouds I have Ghibli clouds installed in my game so they replace all of the clouds they look super good in Hempford on Bagley too I think that was the last update that the creator did for 
these clouds. I should probably check on that just to make sure that the other new worlds haven't been updated. But I think you all have seen these clouds before I've mentioned them, but I think they're really cute. The next thing I wanna show you all is my phone replacement. I know I've covered this before, but I wanna show you anyway. I do have a phone replacement that gives you a thinner smartphone. It doesn't look like an iPhone or anything special like that, but it's just a thinner version of the original phone. So definitely a must have because it looks thinner and it looks, it just looks better to me. I had to come over to San Sequoia really quick to show you all this mod replacement. Um, and this is the perfect spot for me to do it. So right here we have the San Sequoia Bridge override. This makes it so that the San Sequoia Bridge is actually red. And the Sims 4 growing together in the world of San Sequoia, the bridge is more like a foggy blue because it's kind of like in the, in the, <laughs> I don't know, it's just like in the fog and stuff and it, it just looked blue, it didn't even look red. And so this makes it look red. It gives major San Francisco vibes. I know you're like, why are we in Copperdale? Why Copperdale? Okay, so I have to show you this override that I have at the ice cream shop here. This is on the docks here, in that really fun place in Copperdale. This is a beautiful world, by the way. So if we click on the vendor here, Little Bo Bub, who also creates Granny's Cookbook, which is my favorite, um, we have more ice cream <laughs> flavors by using this mod. So when you click on this, you really don't have that many options. And I've had this so long that I don't even remember what the original options are, but I'm sure you guys do. We have popcorn and cotton candy here, different types. And then you also can order waffles and donuts. So you can order strawberry donuts, chocolate donuts, some waffles. I'm gonna do the strawberry waffle. And again, like I said, even more ice cream. So you have some fun flavors like licorice, gelato, um, Look at this ricotta, stragata, gelato. I don't even know if I pronounced that right, but you can check me in the comments. I'm, I'm cool with that. Cherry ice cream. You just have so much, so many more choices. So when I go here, I like having choices. And man, that Ferris wheel music is, can y'all hear that in the game? Look at his popcorn. And here goes the popcorn right here. Delicious. And then she's also eating her waffle. So it just makes it so that if you do visit and Copperdale, it's just so fun because you actually have like more options to choose from than just ice cream. Next thing I want to show you is going to be a replacement for uh, the earbuds that came with the Sims 4 fitness stuff hack. And so if I go to purchase earbuds, um, I'm just going to do white here in his inventory as you can see you see the white earbuds and they do look like the ones from the fitness stuff pack however when you actually look at your sim they are replaced with those iphone looking airpods and i just like the way that that looks way better i love it my sim is just listening to some classical music and you can also see here um in his icon uh, down here that he's listening to some music. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off. The next method I wanna show you all, um, mm, I could go to her with the painting. No, I'm just gonna go here first. It says play game. I have Fortnite, I have The Sims 4. You're like, whoa, what's going on? And it's true, it is true. I can play The Sims 4 <laughs> on my Sims computer. And that is because I do have, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm weak at Kia's voice. This is iconic Olivia. If y'all don't know, this LP it was like her get famous LP. But um, yeah, you can play. <laughs> uh, you can play The Sims 4. Basically, what you can do with this mod is choose between different sets of games that you want to play. You can also play Minecraft, Stardew Valley. You can mix and match different sets so you can bring those real games that you play IRL and play them on your computer. So I love this override because I just love seeing real games, um, you know, on the computer. I just think it's really cool. So, and I have a sim that's really into video games right now, my LP, and I just thought this would be a really cool mod to have. And here we have Stardew Valley. Like, <laughs> it look, it's so cool though, right? So that's definitely a must have. The next mod that I wanna talk about is going to be the Paint It Up mod. This is an override. It is going to override the Sims 4 paintings. A lot of you have been wondering if I used a mod that overrode the original paintings because some of the paintings that I've been making in my gameplay, you're like, I've never seen that before. And that is because of this mod. It is so lovely. Like there are so many paintings I haven't even scratched the surface with yet. And you just get these beautiful, like look at this like you just get more paintings and so I'm so down for this painting feels more purposeful for me and that's why I've been doing it a lot lately especially with the mod because you know you just never know what you're gonna get and it just looks so good of course you can sell your painting do whatever with it like I kind of love this 
like just hanging some of these paintings up. It's very hard to sell them because I love how they all come out. <laughs> but yeah, definitely get this if you want some new paintings. They are so beautiful. The next override that I'm going to show you is going to be um, a toothbrush override. So with this, you can actually replace your Sims toothbrush with an electrical one. Um, I chose electric because I just love the way this looks. So if you see he has an electric toothbrush, no, it doesn't make any noise or anything like that. But it's just cool to see like pause really quick. Like, look at that. Like, <laughs> it's like he has a nice little toothbrush. I am all for the realism. That was quick. The next override is a sponge override by L. Kreis. You know, some of you might be like, now listen, a sponge, really? But the original Sims 4 sponge is like really bulky and stuff. There is a yellow version of this sponge and a pink version. And I just love it because it's thinner and it just looks more modern, okay? Me, I'm someone that likes the minuscule things, the very little simple things that no one pays attention to or should care about. I love it. When they wash dishes or when they clean a surface or whatever, you'll have that sponge override. The next remainder of this video, I want to show you things related to children and newborns, some of the overrides that I do have that I really, really love. And the first is going to be this newborn skin replacement and newborn bottle replacement also. I have a baby skin replacement by Elkrez where the baby will now have um, just like some wispy hair going on. There's a bald version too, but I really love this version. I think it's realistic. The baby will carry the parent's genetics um, over. So that's also a really cool thing too, because that was a newborn update within The Sims 4 in general. And then I have a bottle replacement as well. So this bottle looks completely different than the one that already comes in game. And I just like it better because it just looks cuter to me. I don't know. It just, I like it better than the original. And I think there's like a couple of mods out here like that that overrides the baby bottle but this one is my favorite look at how adorable the baby is it's a must-have and i covered it before but i thought i'd mention it here too the next thing i want to show you is something dealing with infants by default for infants the game already places uh the baby rug on the floor for the infant when you lay them down and i believe it's the bare one i can't remember which one it is but i just felt like it just I hate that we can't change it. You see how we have this baby's first rug? Um, here are the different swatches for it. And I believe when you place the infant down that it gives you what this swatch or this one, I can't even remember, but I just hate it that I couldn't choose between it because what's the point of having this rug if the Sims don't even place the baby on it automatically? So with this mod, you're able to just choose which one of those swatches you want and then the baby will be on that blanket instead. So I really like the mountain swatch and that's why I keep that one. <laughs> oh poor baby next i do have an override for the infant bathtub so originally it's like yellow and white but i have this mod where it allows you to choose which color you would like and so i obviously y'all know me i love gray so we do have the gray infant bathtub instead and i just love it because i don't know i mean what if you don't want a bright yellow bathtub <laughs> you know i'm like i'm just so weird like that it's the small details for me so um you can choose from an array of different colors and the last gameplay override i would like to show you is actually these child drawing replacements so if you hit draw say i do a uh, vehicle this actually replaces the pictures that the children do so similar to the painted up mod there's going to be different pictures that they can draw so for instance baby girl actually um drew this picture before i started and it just looks like she really colored it with the crayons and everything this was with the shapes option and by choosing the vehicle option she is now drawing an airplane which looks amazing by the way i love how it really looks like she's using crayons and i just love that you know i mean when you've been playing this game for a while it's really nice to just see new options on something so that's why i love overrides like these do you see how cute this is like it just really looks like she she drew it. I mean, an amazing artist too, by the way, because <laughs> I could not draw, I could not draw that. But here I'm going to have her draw something else from shapes. I'm even gonna raise her creativity, like just cheat up her creativity really quick. Now she's almost done with this one and look at the house. It looks so amazing. It just looks so creative and, and childlike storybook almost. So the summer crafts and the holiday crafts from seasons, those still stay the same. It's only when you go to the uh, draw options. So I might even do people this time being that her um, I cheated up her level just so that we could see what this looks like and look at her drawing a family so this is a must have I love mods like this because sometimes I mean 
come on, the game's been out forever. Like we've seen all the drawings and everything. You just want something new sometimes. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace out.